Isolation Nation. I woke up like this. And <laughs> and I'm so sorry. It's 11 a, 12 a.m., 12 p.m., my time. This is like basically being in the army now, this show. I don't <laughs> know why we're doing this to you or me. It's so early. Um, I went to bed three and a half hours ago. I feel good. I feel great. Do I, love not, do I not seem great? Why are you making accusations? I feel, I feel fine. I feel like I'm doing fine. Don't worry. I got a bowl of fruit. I'm ready to go. And this is the Social Distancing Social Club. I think it's time that you meet the second leg of a tripod with four legs, affectionately known as the quarantine. Please give a warm, bright and early rise and shine to Steve Hofstetter, everybody. Hello, everybody. Woo. How are you? <laughs> what up, buddy? What is on you know, your face? The, is Rachel the only one who actually knows what I look like? You guys didn't react at all, and I'm really offended. Not only do I not watch the show, I've never seen you before. Oh, yeah, I fair enough. Like, all right, well, we if you... Oh, if you, nice. Uh, oh, shit. Yeah. You, weren't, you, you weren't highlighted. Now that's what it is. Okay. Okay, you guys do, do not yet know how to use the Zoom, new Zoom. Anyway, I'm wearing the Embrace the Suck shirt, uh, and I'm clearly embracing the suck because I am wearing the headband Steve facial hair. Uh, this is something <laughs> I did for uh, for the Ask Us Everything show yesterday, and uh, I'm thinking of keeping it. What do you guys think? Yes. I like it. I like sure. it. I mean, I, especially, I, <laughs> especially since you're not especially since you're not going outside for a long time, and you don't have to be around people. That is perfect. Actually, what's great is when I was walking my dog earlier, didn't need a mask. Everyone crossed the street. It was perfect. Anyway, if you want to support the show, <laughs> use the top right of the screen is our Venmo. You can PayPal at sdscshow.com, or of course, you can super chat on the YouTube. Throw in some Facebook stars. Do all that kind of stuff. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let me introduce another one of our hosts, Mr. Chris Bowers. Everybody, Chris Bauer. Bow wow. Hey, what's up? Uh, so, Ben, I'll say this. So, th if this feels like the army to you, and uh, a couple weeks ago you wore a tank top that said you were part of the, the Israeli Defense Force or something, now yeah. I'm not as scared of the Israeli army as I used to be. I thought they were badasses. But now that, like, this is your idea. No, no, Bowers, it's, it's super early Israeli time. Oh my bad. Plus, I'm yeah. just I'm I'm just a strategy guy. I'm not like the go execute the plan guy. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, Ooh. that makes more sense. Steve, what's gonna happen? What's gonna my father? I can't talk right now. Thank you for trying. Uh, <laughs> Steve, what's gonna happen when you keep this facial look and the two line movie roles start pouring in? You start being doing two lines in all kinds of of, of vague exercise themed movies. I'm gonna oh, I'm gonna be the I'm gonna be the partial goatee guy in those movies. I think it's gonna be Very, it's gonna be a look. It's crazy how much it changes your look because you 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 go from IT guy to like, what up? You know what I mean? Like <laughs> <laughs> he goes from IT guy to a guy who owns a snake. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, and instead of Tiger King, you are type. Girl, King, you know what I mean? You're so like, I, I was <laughs> IT guy and Barris was IT square people guy. Anyway, uh, yes. <laughs> not yes. people, Chrissy. I'm not out there T square and people. Let's he be honest. He doesn't about just that. T square willy nilly. It's just, it's a very specific T square. <laughs> I mean, nilly, I maybe, just, but not, not willy. That's for sure. By the way, as a related note to that, I was thinking about this yesterday. It offends me a little that Bowers only wants to fuck me when I put on female filters, but wants to fuck Steve every day of the week. I don't think that's right. I gotta say, Ben equally bothers me. <laughs> I, I don't think I want to fuck Steve. His dick's too long and big. I wouldn't be dealing. I wouldn't be like, I wouldn't be oh, with that. Come on. You <laughs> just said. You just said. I don't think I want to. I don't I, think I want to. Well, I mean, this is all. It's it's all hyper. I don't know if it's real or not. I'd have to see it. Okay, Rachel, oh, you're here. Oh, oh, oh. Rachel, Queen. <laughs> How are you doing? I felt left out. <laughs> <laughs> but that mustache now. Bowers wants to fuck you probably too. <laughs> Uh, all right, what do we do? We have anything coming in already? Uh, we have game entries if we want to do those. Well, a bit. we'll talk about the overnight game. How about that? We had a fun overnight game. Uh, what was it? It was they took. We took this the other day. We took WAP W A P and made it other initials. Well, what else would it stand for? So uh, Smash had Wiley Alternative Products. Boycott at me, Acme. So uh, 
Nice. Like <laughs> <laughs> Dana Gonzalez had wasted ass potential, which I think is probably my nickname. Uh, <laughs> Insubordinate degenerate had uh, we all poop, which I thought was for Rachel because she has that book. Um, <laughs> Jessica Kybel had withered antique pedunda, and pedunda was our external girly parts. So I didn't know what pedunda was, but now I want to see some pedundas. And uh, <laughs> too early. Just the outside. Uh, Renee had uh, wild, angry pterodactyls, which I thought was nice because pterodactyl starts with a P. Uh, she also had wary Arby's patron, patron, uh, patrons, which was just for uh, Savannah, so she hates Arby's. Uh, wait, Frank wait, wait. I love the idea that Arby's has a patron. Yes. Be fucking great. <laughs> yes. Well, I, I would be part of pa I'd be part of Arby's patron if you got curly fries twice a week or something. I'd it just says up. Arby's is creating curly fries. Like that's <laughs> exactly. They, they actually give you the meth to enjoy their sandwiches with. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Barrel had a very weird one. Said weasels are people. I like that one. Uh, with his mustache, so do I, because I have several pet weasels. <laughs> August Walsh had uh, wacko Alzheimer's president, which makes sense totally. And can you say that word again? Nope. And uh, finally, <laughs> see how easy that is, Rachel. And finally, Frank Nataro had welcoming anal probes. So there you uh, <laughs> From different angles. Way too excited. You said that one like it was a big, exciting finish in your life. And welcoming <laughs> anal probes. It was too much. That actually was a big, exciting finish for Bowers. Anyway, so we've got a game for today. Today's game, uh, it's something we, we joked about on the show uh, last week, and now we're actually doing it. We're going to kids bop a song. So uh, take your favorite song that is about something very adult-themed and make it kid-friendly. Um, so uh, some examples would be like uh, Another One Bites the Crust. Uh, you know, take a song about death. Uh, but or uh, all I want to do is chores. Uh, so take a song and make it. Uh... You can you can clearly see the kind of household Steve grew up in right there. <laughs> <laughs> these were actually the songs we'd have to sing while we were doing these things. So uh, the way you the way you uh, participate in the game is you can comment on any of our streams, our uh, Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, or YouTube. But if you want your entry to count toward the prize and be read on the air at the end of the show, what you do is you tip at least five dollars with your entry. Uh, and then we will read it at the end. Any? Did any of you guys have better examples than mine? Uh, I had the Prince song, Ooh, Pussy Cats Rule. So, okay, fair. <laughs> uh, I think the word pussy might still wow. pop it, but yeah. Bowers oh. texted that example, and we were like, what song is that? He's like, don't worry, I have to sing it to explain, and it didn't help. <laughs> <laughs> I actually thought a cat was singing it. Yeah. So is it like, so WAP, right? Wet as pacifiers. Something like that. Well, ass yeah, is probably not as it's an as. A wet, wet ass, ass pacifier. Ass pacifiers, pacifiers, right? Yes, yes, that could that could work as well. So anyway, uh, yes, yeah, submit uh, submit that, and we'll read them at the end. That's the way it works. That's the way it works. Sounds good. Yeah, I'm Tam excited. in the chat you... just said white ass privilege. I'm like, I I don't think that's a kids bop one. I appreciate the <laughs> submission, but we'll be a little lenient. I mean, this isn't Nazi Germany. Please turn on your <laughs> camera's video VIP front row. Please join us now, if you will. We are being joined from Australia by Zara Bending, whose shirt says, not here, and I disagree. Oh, not here to fuck spiders. Nice. <laughs> I like that. We've got Frankie Angles Nataro joining us from the worst angle possible. Tamara Brown, great mug. The merch has just arrived. Oh, shit. <laughs> That is up. Oh, wow. oh, that take that, fun. Ben. It says take that, Ben, from the raspberry mug. So I don't even think that's a Steve mug. Or did you tape the? Did you take that on? Oh, son of a bitch! Unreal. Unreal. That was really good. That was, really, that was so really, good. That really made me happy. Unfortunately, Tam has to leave early today. Thanks for being here. Uh, we've also got Jessica Kybel here with us. Hello, Jess. Wearing antlers, I believe. Well done. And we've got Jan Skittles Johnson tasting the rainbow. And, of course, Lady Corbin, whose camera and mic are off. She's probably hard at work. 
making a Lego out of all of us. So that's exciting. <laughs> there's, there's we'll be checking in later to see what we turn into when the cartoons happen. And they happen to you sometimes. Uh, my friends, that is our video front row. Uh, that's awesome. We have two amazing comics. Uh, Jeff Dye is here with us. Very excited. Jeff, how Woo! are you? I'm feeling good. I'm trying to figure out how to show myself. There I am. There he is. Hey, Hello, guys. Jeff. How are we feeling? How's everyone's pandy? <laughs> <laughs> That's a cute name for it, dude. <laughs> I'm an optimist, you know? I like to make sure uh, we stay positive. I'm enjoying my pandy. I like that. <laughs> never, I never has a global crisis been as adorable, Jeff. We really appreciate that. <laughs> exactly. Hey, we got to stay positive. We got to be happy. And uh, this is, I've been enjoying it. I'm in a closet, I think. This is where I'm at. Uh, I thought I would, I thought I'd come out of the closet ten years from now, but I'm still in. I love that. <laughs> nice. The world is closing in on you, but you're happy as can be. It's my speaking life. Of, speaking of positive, we also have Erica Rhodes is here. Erica, how you doing? We're yes. hey, I'm a little offended by Jeff's positivity. Could he tone it down a bit? <laughs> <laughs> the women in the crowd. <laughs> Jeff just booed your intro, so he did. Yeah. He did tone it down. Yeah, I felt very offended, very threatened right now. <laughs> you felt threatened and afraid and uh, and sad before the pandy. So relax. Every time I think that's those are the emotions. <laughs> I like how everyone was so optimistic about Steve's mustache, but then when I call it a pandy, everyone turns on me. <laughs> I, I like it, dude. I think Kung Fu Pandy is my new favorite movie. Let's do it. Now we're talking. <laughs> I'm in. I like it. <laughs> Rach, we got any coming, anything coming in before we get rolling? We roll? do. So we had um, Tasha tip the show, and she said, Re Return of the Steve the Skeeve, highest si sensei. Is there a psycho yoga instructor, too, we need to know about? Uh, there. I will just go on record saying there may or may not be, and I will tell you nothing. <laughs> There should, there, should, there, there, there should be a Cobra Kai type spinoff show where the yoga instructor and you are actually the good guys. And turns out that dickhead husband that gave her the baby. I was the good guy. I was harmless. Sure. <laughs> okay. I wasn't a good guy in the movie. That's absolutely true. It was a creepy I, dude. It was a creepy yeah, dude. I, I, it was, I, I, but the, the backstory on him is that he was an FBI agent who was planted there and the creepy thing was his, was his cover. So, uh, they just they just they didn't get to that because it was uh lifetime made them cut that scene so you know but it was the whole thing mm -hmm. i come in at the end save the day and then lifetime was just like ah we have too many commercials we got to put more in I, you know so. i'm pretty sure part of fbi training is how to handle a mat so i don't believe any of that backstory <laughs> <laughs> earlier You're ben sure said uh... fbi training is how to handle a yoga mat <laughs> Probably earlier, kill people. earlier ben goes what are you gonna do when all these uh two roll parts come in to do what it's like i would probably just celebrate you'd have a bunch of movie parts right <laughs> good point that's a strong point now uh, jeff jeff that's my uh that's my thing i've been in uh i've been in three movies i have a total of six lines equally distributed uh, <laughs> it's, uh it's, it's no that's fantastic the movies distributed the <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but they they were not distributed, but but Steve has them and he's ready to release them as soon as anybody's interested. So if you're listening and you own a film distribution company, hit up at Steve Hofstetter if possible. Wait, does does Lifetime Television, Hallmark Movie Channel, and Adam Carolla's GoFundMe count? Because then yes, absolutely not. Yeah. <laughs> Adam Carolla. And look, I say I say that the, the two line comment out of jealousy. I'm I usually have just one line in movies, so you're yeah. twice as filmic as I am. And, and most of us are never in movies. I, I I've been in one True. crappy one. That's true. That's true. Yeah, but you get to tour the world with Terry Bradshaw and George Foreman and William Shatner, so there's that. Yeah, I'd still take the two lines on Lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Jeff Dye has a baseball card now, which is something that, that I'm infinitely true. jealous of. That's Thank fucking you very awesome. much. It was easy. I just did jokes, and then they asked me. That's cool. I did wow. jokes, and then they didn't ask me. Yeah, that's so, well, you did. Well, so that that's why he emphasized jokes, Steve. <laughs> oh God damn it! <laughs> that was a burn. <laughs> Jeff Diver. <laughs> I have a baseball card too, by the way. I don't think I've ever shown this on the show. It's uh, 
Don Mattingly. I think it's an 80. Oh, nice. 87. <laughs> wait, wait, highlight Ben for me. Let me see that. Right there, baby. So I'm not trying to brag, but you got the mustache, Donny Baseball, right there. Uh, wait, 90 oh, score. Uh, yeah, 90 score. I was about to say that's a 1990 scorecard. Yeah. Right? Uh, you yeah, that's get, correct. Uh, it's 90 score. You, that, that's you could worth, get that's worth zero about dollars eight cents. for that. <laughs> yeah, I know I can't get any dollars. I should probably eat it right now on camera. But yeah. that, that is hard. Donnie baseball. Friend. What's that? No, no, we, no, no, we love we love Donnie baseball. No disrespect. Yes, we do. But it's uh, but you know that card is just hard toilet paper. That's all that is. It's not worth it. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like the, the oh. Aldi brand of baseball cards. Score. Score was a terrible, terrible experience. Okay, I've also got a Don Mattingly Fleet Ultra card right here. How you like that? Stop Fear. showing Fear us sweet. worthless things. And a top, <laughs> I got a top Don Mattingly Tops card. That's showing that worthless that things is half of this show. Hold on a second, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> and that 89 tops is probably worth the most out of those, and it's worth nothing. I got, a, I got a, this thing, outlets go in it, and you put it on the wall. Don't hey, think ben. I don't have outlet things, dude. Uh, yeah, ben, I'll, I'll, I'll trade you a cough Sometimes drop for one of those cards. Sometimes I write so, with so, it. So, so okay. Jeff, this is your this is your first time on the show, Jeff. But literally, Ben, this entire 120 episodes has been Ben showing us things that aren't worth anything in his office. That's really what this has been. A really long, a really long show and tell. It's been awesome. We've enjoyed yeah. it. Jeff thinks he's so cool showing me an outlet thing. How about a battery pack, for, a battery back panel for an LED light? You don't like that? Okay. How about another one? How about another one? How about another one? Have you another one? How about one more? Ben, all of those are worth more than your crappy Don Mattingly cards. That's fair enough. Fair enough. See, they, these are go. baseball cards, Ben. Here's a That's John Elway rookie, right. a Dan Marino rookie, a Ken Griffey Jr., two rookies, Mark McGuire Olympic, Vic rookie, Shaq rookie, Ripken rookie. Don't Tony yell at me. Why are you yelling Jordan. at me? Actually, well, actually, Co Bowers a Kobe lot of rookie those. insert, Tony Gwynn, Roger Clemens, Billy Ripken, fuckface card. All right, boys. Wait, you know, Bowers. So don't Bowers, don't fuck with my toys. <laughs> but the Shaquille O'Neal is not a baseball oh, card. Boy. Oh, they're not. Ba they're cards. They're sports cards, Phil. They're sports cards, Steve. I have one medal. Does that count for something? Yes. Is my wallet. That counts. Is my wallet. Rachel, what do we have coming in? We don't have anything. I wish. I oh my God! You've got an '89 oh, upper yeah. deck in your wallet, you dick! I, Look at that. I've, I've kept it with me for like I don't know, 15 years in my wallet. That's awesome. How, How much is that worth? This is worth Nothing as much now as, that... as your Don Madden list. <laughs> That's probably true. Even though there's a bite, even there's a bite out of it for some reason. <laughs> it's for uh, when I reach in to grab it, it makes a little hole in it for all the times I've shown it up. Oh, all right. <laughs> but anyway, none of it's so we... worth as much as Erica's uh, fake gold medal. <laughs> I've got a cello. No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> that could be any. Ben, so, Ben, do also, not go get your cello right now. Do not go get your cello. I'm about to get a lemon cello, something at least. <laughs> Erica, also, whenever you take her on the road, it's only fifty dollars to fly her because she fits in that cello box, and you can just throw it under the plane. It's fine. Yes. <laughs> Um, by the way, I don't mean to uh, really kind of steal the show here and up one up all of your cards, but I do have my own baseball card as well. It's a tops right here. Just found this cleaning up stuff yesterday because Carmel made me a future star, Ben Glee. Oh. Did oh. I make this to try to sell a TV show that never got put on the air and now it's embarrassingly stupid and it's a picture of me calling myself a star on the back of it? Yes, I did. Yes, I ben, did. Now, me, <laughs> me, me and Chris Bowers, I'm going to guess, and probably Steve, I, I would just assume, probably know the most about sports cards in this thing and that's a guess maybe not but that's my guess and all of us will agree that card that you made looks super real <laughs> <laughs> also by the way jeff not only does it look super real but it's actually worth more than the don mattingly he shows yeah exactly <laughs> way more rare and by the way, they, they don't always hit on those future stars. Like Hensley Mullins was a future star. He didn't make it. Sometimes it Jerome, happens that way. Yeah, Jerome Walker. doesn't look like a baseball crowd okay. to me. No. No. <laughs> yeah, I think we've I think we've lost the whole crowd. We should go to a we should go to a comedy set. I hope Jeff's set isn't all about baseball cards, but it might Erica. be. <laughs> don't do that. What? Oh, don't profile these sweet ladies and think that they don't care about sports. I don't, they know, don't, I don't care about sports. Not, doesn't look like she's in the baseball. 
He loves baseball. And, you know, You're Lenny right. Corbin won't shut up about Thanks. trading cards when we're on <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get to some comedy and stop talking about sports cards, though. I really like talking about sports cards. Sorry, it's one of my nerdy pleasures. I love it. Uh, this is like you guys with Harry Potter or fucking po- uh, Pokemons or whatever the fuck you guys talk about. That's us with sports cards. But anyway. <laughs> Pokemons. <laughs> they had a big game about Pokemon. I'm not making that up. All right, so <laughs> come to the stage no, right just- now. Come to the stage right now. Uh, you've seen him on Better Late Than Never as a po- a- a- an Every TV show ever. Uh, give it for the very funny Jeff <laughs> Die, everybody. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Wow, what a treat. Uh, I feel like I already, I feel like I already know you guys. That's what I feel like. This, this audience feels like. Uh, it's been interesting, uh, the quarantine and all that stuff. I'm sure you guys have heard every joke about the quarantine and stuff. But I actually, like I said, have I've been enjoying it. Uh, I've been making the most of it. Uh, my dog is ready to hang himself. <laughs> <laughs> I thought dogs just did unconditional love, but my dog keeps looking at me like, I could use some space. <laughs> <laughs> could you maybe drive somewhere or just take a walk on your own for a little while? <laughs> <laughs> it's been very weird. I also don't like all the negativity that I've been witnessing on the internet due to the, the pandy. You know, like people keep saying, uh, oh, if 2020 was a was a sex toy and it's like a picture of a cactus and we're all supposed to go. "Ah!" (laughs) (laughs) Stop acting like it's so bad. It's fine. You're not afraid. You're not afraid. This is the worst thing that most people have ever gone through in their life. And 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 they're still just talking about Tiger King and sending big black eye dick memes. We're fine. (laughs) Does it seem like anyone's that afraid when your friend just won't shut up about Tiger King? Like, that, that's not afraid. <laughs> In my mm-hmm. opinion. I've had a good time with it. I'm enjoying it. I'm making the best of it. Every corner of my house is clean. Uh, uh, my, <laughs> I've organized my junk drawer. Everything's alphabetized. I don't know if I'm in a pandemic or on Adderall. <laughs> <laughs> like organizing my socks it's at, it's out of order uh the one bad thing about uh, the pandemic for me is it's it's made it difficult to lie you know people be like hey what are you doing i'm like uh i'm busy <laughs> <laughs> so, like you don't want to hang out it's like ah, i can't uh my parents are super old and i love them so i don't want to hang out with you uh spread the virus <laughs> which is not true hate my parents um, <laughs> totally i'm totally available i just you know, i'm lying uh, it's been very strange though the uh i have to go to uh we have to do everything like this you know like doing stand-up on zoom is very strange uh doing uh church i go to church on my computer now uh which is very weird it's very different than regular church i've never been in regular church and someone's like hey want to find hot young singles in your area You're like what <laughs> wait a minute who let the devil in here <laughs> i also feel conflicted watching church on the same computer you know, <laughs> like, uh, the, the lord is pure and i don't want to I don't want to be learning and, and worshiping with my God on the same thing. I watch late night short films about love. <laughs> I feel like I need to get a new Apple, you know, like a separate Apple computer uh, for, for church. You know, one that doesn't have the bite out of the Apple. It's just like a pure Apple. <laughs> uh, I also have noticed uh, people complain about the masks a lot. Everyone is so upset about the masks. Ooh, you have to wear a mask. I love it. I'm a big Mortal Kombat fan. I've been embracing the masks. Uh, <laughs> you know who likes the masks also? Uh, ugly people. <laughs> <laughs> They're having a good time. They've got a new bounce in their step. Have you noticed that? All the ugly people are like, ooh, I'm an eight now. It's like, you're not. You're not <laughs> we see your Garfield sweatshirt. We can put it together. You're not an eight. You're not. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Bowers. That is a good laugh, Bowers. I want to <laughs> give you credit. I love Bowers to death. I've known him for a long time. One thing I don't appreciate about you, Bowers, is the way you read everyone's uh, submissions. 
for the for the WAP abbreviations. You read through those real quick. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, they, they, they submitted their thing. They think they're going to be on featured on this. It's going to sound real funny. And then Bowser goes, ah, we got one over here. It's, uh, we are uh, pterodactyl. <laughs> <laughs> from Snapchat. <laughs> the latter. It is? I could tell. It was moving differently than your face, and it bothered me. All right. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry I said gay like that. I'm still one of the uh, prehistoric men who speaks freely. <laughs> what else could I say? Guys? I'm a very happy person. That's something. If you don't know me, I'm a very, very happy person. Very positive, very optimistic, and uh, people hate it. <laughs> <laughs> that's one thing they don't tell you about finding happiness if you find happiness you too will annoy everyone around you <laughs> complete strangers see me coming and they're like nope kill that guy we don't <laughs> <laughs> it's very weird how lonely it is being happy <laughs> negative people they find each other they hang out they have brunch they're, they're, they're very aggressive and they complain together being happy yeah, being happy is just me at my house going hey, want to walk again dog <laughs> and I will say this I'm going to leave you guys on this I, I understand how obnoxious it can be to hear a guy being positive but I'm just trying to make the world happy and make people smile and, and make them have a better life and some people hear that and they go well sure it's easy for this guy to be happy he's a straight white male with money and a big dick and <laughs> I hear you. you're not wrong <laughs> I'm trying, you know, I'm trying. So. <laughs> Jeff, die, Jeff, die, everybody. Die. Jeff, die. Thank you. Uh, brought to us by late night films about love tube. <laughs> <laughs> Tip jar is open as always. Top right of the screen. Uh, you can Venmo. You can uh, PayPal at sdscshow.com. Or, of course, you can Super Chat on the YouTubes. I also I loved I loved how, how Jeff's ugly people walk with the exact same spring in their step as the <laughs> people who are not happy in their lives. They're both just very... Yeah, we all have the same stroll, you know? <laughs> all right, I gotta say, I do take issue with your Sarah Lear about me introducing the different vets, okay? Because sometimes I'll make <laughs> pronunciations. I'll be like, Jeff, now you're not from Teller, NBC Television, everybody, 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 everybody! That's amazing. Where's your loud jacket? <laughs> Don't worry, I got him. I got him. I love it. Yeah, that was a perfect imitation. You're right. I think I am too Bowers to do other people's material, which I feel yeah, you're too. Take, you're too locked I take, in. I take, I take that as a compliment, Jeff. Thank you. It is. You're the best. I will say in the chat, uh, we're having some recommendations for you, Jeff. Uh, Zara says easy solution: computer for work, phone for porn, problem solved. Uh, okay. And, uh, Tam suggests that's, also, that's also from a girl who thinks other people fuck spiders for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> also from a girl who's, uh, you know, you, once you get over forty, your eyes don't see the phone as well, and you need a computer. You can't, uh, you fucking, you can't well, that's why. Phone. That's why Tam suggests a tablet. Um, but oh, also, smart, smart. Use, use your Apple TV. You know, you could uh, smart. Yeah, I Steve. I'm kind of a creep, so what I like to do is I put blinds in front of my flat screen when I watch porn and then I peek through it like my neighbors are real hot, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you guys think if you saw Zara walking down the street, you'd be like, that chick's very beautiful. And then you'd read her weird shirt and be like, what? No one expects Should you to fuck spiders. Should we explain this? <laughs> no, Jeff, Jeff, I'm not here to fuck spiders in a, is an Australian saying that means, like, I'm not here to fuck around. Oh, because in my mind, I represent the public who wouldn't know what the hell she's talking about. 
Like a guy walking down the street who doesn't get the reference, just going, what's that hot chick fucking spiders for? Nara just changed, Nara just changed her shirt to say, here to fuck, so that is very different. <laughs> we got to wear them down, man. We got to wear them down. <laughs> That's right, combo style, brother. <laughs> yeah, we, we did see the pictures, Jeff, of you and Ben dancing in the street uh, shirtless in Cabo. And Ben tried to tell us that it was you, that you had started that because you were much better shaped than everyone, which you were. But then later, there's a vi- there, uh, Camilla Cleese showed us a video of Ben going, everybody, let's go. And he takes his shirt off first, and then you were the first lieutenant that followed behind. But he tried to so blame the, it on you. No, so the whole weekend, every time I would go into a place, uh, you guys know that movie with uh, Sean Penn where he plays Spicoli? And he goes into the McDonald's <laughs> and he goes in and he t- they just immediately take their shirts off. And they're like, Spicoli, we know you had shirts when you came in here. And he's like, something happened to him, bud. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so I've always thought that's really funny. And so for that whole festival, wherever I went, I would come in and take my shirt off the second I came in. Yes. And, uh, and it didn't help with the comics who don't know me, like people who don't know, like I'm actually nice. They're just like this fucking douchebag, just taking his <laughs> shirt off. Um, so... I did it all weekend, and then that I think was one of the latter nights. So I'll take. Yes, so I did know. I did remember correctly. You did start it that particular yeah, night. Right. I started it on Camilla's right. camera, and she bombarded us with footage and said it was me. I did start it that night, but it was yeah. a trend that had been ongoing. And uh, I would like to give Jeff credit where credit is due. He really was the inspiration. I couldn't have done it without him. Don't give me too much credit because it might have affected your presidential campaign, that kind of footage. It would have helped me. If that had been released during the campaign, I would have been so much further along. Ah, and also bombarded us with footage is a weird way to say it was generous with a gift. <laughs> <laughs> but I will say, if you remember, Jeff, we were we did have a bike gang, though, in Cabo, too, and that yeah. kind of set the tone a lot of it. I might have been the leader of the bike gang. So it kind yeah, of absolutely. chicken and egg, really, who started what. But it was a joint effort, and we enjoy being shirtless together. That's all. Two men yeah. can be shirtless. <laughs> yeah. a bike We're gang. open like that. Yeah, we are. A bike, a bike gang. Uh, yeah, it was like a, it was, it was, it was a moped gang. Yeah, Steve, yeah, I, I, Steve, got, I, Steve got scared because he thought you meant actual bicycles. We'll scare the shit out of him. He doesn't ride bicycles. <laughs> Steve can't ride a bike. Hey, hey I have a mustache. That. I have a mustache that says I have a bike. <laughs> yeah, we, rent, no, we rented no. uh, mopeds the second we got there we rented mopeds yep. and then i bought a mexican wrestling mask yes. and we were riding around you'd have thought i was like a famous celebrity everybody just kept <laughs> shouting like yeah it's a like, they were, like, they were, like, <laughs> it was amazing it Maybe was great. it was a very hot day and he was driving around with a full very tight face mask and then i believe you did a tv stand-up set for an American show that taped there with your wrestling mask on as well. That's true. I came out and everyone, because I think it's so funny and everyone else is going, he's talking about the gym, but he's got like a weird wrestling mask on. <laughs> like, I, just, I bombed the whole set because I thought it was so hilarious to wear a wrestling mask, but it was fun. We were all drunk that whole festival basically. And then I did that same TV taping for a stand up and deliver for Nouveau TV. I came out and I thought this would be fun to do. And I literally walked on stage. And I'm like, let's get the energy up in here. Everybody stand up. Everybody stand up. And they did not want to. And I forced them to stand up. And then I was like, wow, a standing ovation at the beginning. I really appreciate that. <laughs> Whatever happened to that footage, by the way? I don't know. I think that TV network was a scam to basically get drunk footage of comedians. Yeah, and the whole festival was a scam just to get some money from the Mexican government. Fair enough. That might be, but it was a great weekend. I, I, I had I don't a great time. With it. it was fun. <laughs> it was All right, let's get to some tips but, for well, Jeff. Real quick, Steve, Steve oh. with that mustache, you don't look like you have a bike. It looks like you only talk to people riding bikes, but that's just... <laughs> <laughs> you want to encourage the mustache. I think you look cool, Steve. I think you look cool with the mustache. I am shaving it immediately. Rachel, what do you got? <laughs> I like it. All right. Um, we had Alexander Breyer tip Jeff two bucks and said, for Jeff, for your dog to get therapy. Oh, that's sweet. Thank you. I will not be spending it on dog therapy, but thank you. For the- <laughs> um, Jess in our live audience, 20 bucks and said, Jeff, that was an incredible set. The positive stuff's amazing. I don't care if everybody hates it. I love it. Don't pick on Bowers too much, though. You're triggering Savannah. <laughs> I only do that because I love him. Hey, 
Real quick, Gus Walsh just sent me this great picture. Look at that. I don't know if you can see that. That is oh, Steve Hopper in Kung Fu Pandy. It's already a like meme. <laughs> now we're talking. And Zara has Kung Fu cookies there. right there. That's amazing. <laughs> There's Chinese some Kung Fu panties. <laughs> There's some panties. <laughs> All right, Rach, what else we got? Um, well, then we had Savannah tip $9.78 and said, do I need to even say it? Hashtag Team Bowers. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to say it, but you should say it rather than Bowers read it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay. We also had Zara tip five bucks and said, Jeff, Pandy, Panda, same thing, because there's zero fucking happening either way. That is true. <laughs> uh, let me just go on the record and say that is true. You hear that caramel flavored bamboo? <laughs> <laughs> Bullshit. Bullshit. Oh, that's amazing. How are you guys doing these? I'm so jealous. <laughs> We also had uh, Tasha Whitman, five bucks, and said, for Jeff being happy during Pandy. Thank you, guys. <laughs> this is so positive. And now I might be able to make my mortgage payment. I think I'm losing everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, you get happier the worse it goes for you, Jeff. That's the problem is people yeah. think you're in need the most, and people think that you're doing the best. you got to reverse yeah. that. At least put on a frowny face for, like, an hour a day. I've been oh. homeless before. I was even happy when I was homeless, though. I used to live in a Volkswagen Jetta, and I was pretty happy then, too. So, But it's nice to keep my house. Don't get me wrong. Thank you for the... <laughs> Everybody's like, oh, well, in that case, we're just going to shift our tips to Eric. <laughs> <laughs> Eric is going to make 500 grand. She's going to be like, I don't know how to focus on my diary and the pandy. <laughs> That's your impression of me? No. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty bad, I'll admit. Um, let's see what else we have. We had Tam uh, in our live audience tip five bucks and said, Jeff, Thank my you. dogs are so over me being home. They seldom <laughs> stay in the same room with me anymore. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. I feel yeah, I the dogs identify. are just like, hey, we're just going to walk each other if that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> There's, there's a whole rescue site for humans now that dogs set up just so they can get rid of their humans. That need to <laughs> Be like, what's the backstory of this one? Be like, well, a dog just dropped him off and uh, <laughs> wasn't chipped, unfortunately. So he can't tell who his owners were. Oh, Aaron that. McLaughlin just singing. <laughs> I mean, we, we, clean, we gave him a bath and all his shots. We think he can go to a good home now, but... <laughs> I love this episode because we got a new got... All right, talked over what you were saying, Steve. I'm sure it was wonderful. <laughs> it was a neutering joke. It was pretty good. <laughs> I'm very familiar. I'm basically neutered at this point. <laughs> I've always said we should we should rescue people. You come over to some dude in your house like, oh, that's Brian. He's a rescue. And he's like, oh, oh so I taught him to shake. Taught him to shake one day, pretty quick, right? <laughs> You'd be like, yeah, he just learned his name. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, he's half Italian, half Irish. I don't know. The pounds just said he wouldn't get any bigger. <laughs> Rachel gave you nothing on that. She just, she just yeah. went like this. Uh, she's, she's trying to remember her place. She's like she's trying to tough. read tips. She's tough. She's, she's in the tough. middle of her job. Yeah. Oh, good. Uh, Rach, where are we at? Uh, we've got a couple generals. So we had Alexander Breyer. That's the Star Trek theme? What is that? I think it's I think it's Indiana Jones. Alexander Breyer, five dollars more for Ben to just wipe all of the shit off of his desk. <laughs> Have we ever rejected a tip before? Can we reject the tip? No, we can't. Yeah. He, he, he only he only he only great stuff. stuff. He only wipes the stuff off his desk when Carmel's gonna have sex on him with him, and uh, that happens twice a year. Do you think? Do you think with the amount we have sex, it's ever happening on a desk? I don't think so. <laughs> also, if he does that, he might damage his worthless Don Mattingly card. <laughs> Mattingly is a friend of mine. You watch your mouth, Jeff. I let the first four jokes go. But this is not appropriate. I wonder, I wonder, what would you do, Ben, if Carmel was like, let's have sex right now, but only on the Don Mattingly? Ooh, he'd do it. He knows the guy. He can get another card. 
<laughs> also, he's got eight cents in access to eBay. He can get another card. <laughs> yeah, no, I would probably do it. I'd probably do it, but I mean, I just don't want it to count as a threesome if, that, as long as I <laughs> That goes under the record. You gotta text Don and apologize. And be like, Donnie, I'm so sorry, but uh, your, your mustache is, is not the same. Yeah. You understand. Uh, are we caught up, right? All right, last general. Hayden, five bucks, and said, I'm a lifelong baseball fan. I spent my childhood collecting cards. Uh, that intro absolutely made my day. And as someone who knows a ton about baseball cards, yeah, Ben's cards are worthless. <laughs> Literally, the cards are so worthless because I have a box. I have a fancy box of all the cards I had as a kid that I literally found recently at my parents' house. My brother was there, and he was like, those are my cards. I'm like, the box says Ben on it. There's a printout of the value of them that has my name on it. It's clearly like, nope, my cards. We had a huge fight about them. He took the thing. We were going to sell them and split the money. Literally, the first five brother and I have had in 10 years. This is like three weeks ago. And he calls me two days later. He's like, you can have them. They're worth nothing. <laughs> well, that's a good way to end the fight. It was good. It was pretty solid. If you believe your brother and don't think he just stole all of that money from you. I Googled a couple of them. I was not impressed. Hey, you don't think those 1987 Joel Youngbloods were worth a fortune? You don't think that those... Whatever, man. At least I don't uh, bite my fucking cards. <laughs> I uh, I actually Hayden Hayden made me a couple of uh, of cards of like me with Mets cards and they were really awesome and yet I held back having to show them on the show. But you didn't hold back mentioning it right now. I'm just okay, saying. And, 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 they are, and, 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 and they are they are framed in your house, so you maybe you just didn't want to get them off the wall. So don't act like you care at all about them. They are in a frame in your house on the wall. So I could have taken them off the wall. <laughs> Your treasure's not in heaven anymore. You got your credit right there that you have Mets cards. <laughs> cool. Well, Jeff, I, knew, I know you got to get out of here because you're about to go do a podcast that you now do with Russell Wilson, which is badass. A yeah, weekly podcast with Russell Wilson. And he just had one of the best games in the history of the world yesterday. So, holy shit. Or Monday. Yeah, or Sunday. we're, so, yeah. we're going to do a thing on the podcast. So, we had Shaq episode one. And then this year, uh, we have John David Washington, which is Denzel's son for episode two. It's been super fun but uh we're gonna do a thing when russell wins we're gonna talk about it i'll interview like one of his teammates to talk about how good russ did but if russ loses that week we'll just pretend like there was no game i'll be like hey, russ. <laughs> <laughs> hey how was your week and he's like oh pretty good not much to report we will just act like there was no seahawks game that week <laughs> That is awesome. Yeah, but it was, back in the day, we, me and Todd were on a podcast with Pat McAfee, and it was right when the season started, and he was like, well, I'm not going to want to do one if they lose, and that's when the year luck got hurt, and they lost like 10 oh, in a yeah. row. That was the end of that. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, well, well now it. Pat McAfee's like a big celebrity. Yeah, now he's so huge. Yeah he, he, yeah. yeah, he did great stuff. So, But anyway, uh, it's been good All to see right. you. Where do, we, where do we find you on social media, Jeff? Uh, give us your just, handles and stuff. Just my name, at Jeff Die, and then uh, my website is uh, at Jeff Die Doesn't Fuck Spiders. And then <laughs> I'm just, just Google J E F F D Y E and everything comes up. I'm super easy to find. And check Jeff out his uh, no, at Nowhere Comedy Club on yes. on September 25th of this month, of this year, 2020. So yep. get a ticket at NowhereComedyClub.com. He does amazing virtual shows. I hosted one of them. It was pretty Thank great. You. So check that out. He is very you fun. You can see. Fan. Uh, the jokes I just did plus 55 minutes of uh, yes. different ones. And let me just let me just personally vouch, despite what you saw today, very funny guy. Get it? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, make sure to check out Jeff's OnlyFans at Jeff Does Fuck Spiders. <laughs> it's, all, it's all feet. <laughs> <laughs> see you, man. Right, Appreciate it. I love you. We'll see you next time. Bud. Awesome. <laughs> All right, cool. Rachel, got anything to catch up on before we get to Erica? Um, no, we're caught up. All oh, right. This is so exciting. I mean, literally, we have we have two of my favorite people on the show today, one of my favorite comics, so I can't wait for Erica's set. <laughs> <laughs> She's the comic, I'm assuming? Yeah, that's correct. correct. Thank you. You're very welcome. All right, coming now, a returning champion. We love her, Erica Rhodes, everybody. Hey, okay, let's roast Jeff for my whole set. <laughs> positive asshole, right? I mean, <laughs> off that attitude of everything, get everything my way. I'm so white. 
Uh, 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 doesn't like me. My avocados <laughs> aren't ripe enough. <laughs> oh, my porn connection isn't good. <laughs> the world is ending, Jeff. Get with the program. <laughs> Get depressed, okay? That's what's real. We're all depressed. Oh, man. Um, I think we can stop calling it the apocalypse, though. Can we Can we put that to bed? It, I mean, if this is the apocalypse, it's been going on for nine months. Like, I, <laughs> I've, seen, I've seen a few apocalyptic movies, and none of them go on for nine months. It's like, in and out. it's in, and then you're done, okay? <laughs> and, and if this were an apocalypse movie, it would be the only one with sequels. Right? <laughs> Apocalypse 1, Corona. Apocalypse 2, Toilet Paper. Apocalypse 3, Tiger King. Apocalypse 4, Stay at Home. Apocalypse 5, Masks. Apocalypse <laughs> 6, Protests. Apocalypse 7, Fires. Apocalypse 8, Cancel Crystalia. Apocalypse 9, Cancel Ellen. Apocalypse 10, Corona. Still happening. <laughs> a tough time for staff. They had a tough year, right? Um, I, I I wouldn't want to be a statue this year. I <laughs> also tough time for statutes of limitations. Where we, we, a lot of people can describe that concept. And uh, I have a solution. I think I told you guys this before, but the solution is if you're at all confused by statutes of limitation, you should only be allowed to sexually harass statues. <laughs> I think we'd be okay with that if we just stop, you know, leave off the good statues and let people, you know, hump Christopher Columbus if they need to. <laughs> you know, that's what. Why waste a good statue? Let it be there and let people do what they need to do, and that would be killing two stones with one bird. So, <laughs> anyway, um, I uh, I'm waiting. I'm excited for the second for the second wave uh, of divorces. I, that's what I'm <laughs> counting on. <about. laughs> now, before I was like, I I gotta I've gotta find a guy who's available, and then now I'm like, I've gotta find a guy who's breaking up with his girlfriend. Now I've gotta find a guy who's getting a divorce, and now I'm like the second this guy, guy getting a second divorce. That's what I'm holding. <laughs> <on>. <laughs> Chris, you're on your second divorce? I've been divorced twice, yes. Okay. Well, you're in the running then. You're in the running. <laughs> Did someone just say light? Yes. I, I've gotten pretty lonely. I have to admit I'm a little lonely and uh, I'm at the point where I'm no longer, I'm, I'm actually, I've started to sleep with my vibrator even when I'm not using it. <laughs> <laughs> me i'm just like you know after we have a session i just go you can stay it's cool We're okay. <laughs> you know, i used to like put it back in the drawer like a lady and now i'm just like you know what it's fine you can spend the night i'll wake up and you out later but it, I can't. and then we cuddle it's very intimate and uh i might need a bigger one just for the cuddling but <laughs> Erica Rose, ladies and gentlemen. Erica Rose. Hit Atari is open as always. Top right of the screen is our Venmo. You can PayPal at sdscshow.com. Or, of course, you can super chat on the YouTube. By the way, Erica, yes, Bowers has been divorced twice. I hope you like right angles. Anyway, on your tips. I used to think Erica was like a clean, wholesome comedian. I need to watch more of your stuff. I, I, I can go edgy, you know. I can go edgy. Yeah, you can. I, I didn't know if I was the mattress, the stairs, or the five-year-old. I was very confused by the whole story. I didn't know what was happening. You, what you, Andy has with? changed people. Yes, it is. You give Erica a, a, a short run of shows where people only honk at her in response, and she loses all sense of what's appropriate to say and what's not, <laughs> what lands, what doesn't. Yeah, turns out those were all bad honks, not good honks. <laughs> 
<laughs> they were like, no, 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 no. She's like, I'm killing. This is great. <laughs> also, by the way, I'm pretty. I am convinced that Erica did throw the mattress down the stairs, and the caretaker is incorrect. I am convinced. <laughs> what? <laughs> I just wanted to see your yeah, reaction. Based on that. what? My strength. I guess I do have strong arms. <laughs> You seem like someone who would throw a mattress down some stairs. That, that's I what we're do. seeing. <laughs> a little bit. In a, in a bit of a rage, I can see, not at your mom, but I can see some, there's probably a scenario where you would throw a mattress down the stairs. Unbelievable. No. I, don't, I don't think anyone would think that of me except for you. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I, when I've met you, actually, the times we've met in person, Erica, you were the nicest person of all time. I can't imagine you throwing anything down the stairs. But I, yeah. I can get pretty feisty sometimes. You, I, could, you know. I could imagine, however, that she wanted to use it as some sort of toboggan. <laughs> yeah, I, I was. You're a like defense lawyer, Steve. <laughs> you. Like this wasn't out of rage. It just you couldn't go outside. This was for fun. She was sliding downstairs, and yet still ruins the mattress. I don't think parents care what your intent was with some of these things. Uh, Staring's ruin a mattress. Oh yeah. Are you kidding me? Ever thrown a mattress downstairs, Erica? Have you? <laughs> no, never. <laughs> I was trying to catch you off guard. I was trying to catch yeah, you off guard. That's, I can't be I can't be swayed that easily. Let, <laughs> let those of us who have not thrown a mattress downstairs cast the first. I don't know how the phrase goes. Rachel, what do we got coming? I in? do a thing, by the way. Sorry, real quick, Rachel. I, I do a thing sometimes if I get drunk enough where I will slide head first downstairs. I can just slide down a whole flight of stairs just with my body. It's really fun. It doesn't hurt. And you should all try it. I, I, There's I actually a reason up. that Ben's house is only one story. <laughs> I have two steps down into the theater. Don't act like I don't have two steps. <laughs> and, they're, and they're fun to slide down. No, I one time, Ben, woke up out of a blackout, and I had put my entire uh, living room set onto my porch outside so I could sleep outside on the couch and still watch television. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember doing it. I just woke up outside, and I was like, what the fuck happened? That here? is a oh, very my, bad All my furniture was outside. By the way, the reason I host this show is so that I get four times a week, I get a reminder why I'm sober. Yeah, all the fun we had. Yeah, you miss out all the fun. Son and all of the a bitch. All the great cool moments. Great yeah. Throwing yourself downstairs, putting your living room set outside. Sounds like a blast. Yeah, fun shit. Fun shit. Riding bikes and bird scooters. and Yep. You know, it's, it's <laughs> yep. And that's why you're in a pandemic all alone, Steve. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> was that a little too hard? I'm sorry. A little too? I, I, I think what you meant to say was that means you made that mustache thing happen sober, which is worse. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Oh, oh no, that pandemic that's, allows me to do fun things like this mustache being in mm, pandemic by myself. That's mind. yeah, but it seems fun, but I was with Steve yesterday before the mustache happened. We were working on the Nowhere Comedy Club physical stage and he literally said to me, "I only have about 32 minutes left cuz I do have to go home and recreate the mustache from Psycho Yoga instructor." It was a very rational planned decision. <laughs> I would not say I only have about 32 minutes left. I would have known exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, this was a planned decision. I did it. Uh, Dan Daniel Muggleton, uh, with Zara's help, uh, sent me a cricket hat for my birthday. Uh, here it is. Um, oh, so no. I wanted to do oh, the God. Wow. <laughs> Wow. Oh, I, thought you meant a I thought you meant a hat with a cricket on it. Hulk Bogan. No, no, no. no. It's sponsored by Cricket Wireless. Oh, no, Cricket is a fucking... All right. What's that, Erica? I think it looks good on him. Oh, yeah. God, I disagree. I think wow, you'd Erica. be an alligator instantly. Erica, you are lonely. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, put the, put the hat back on. Steve, put the hat back on. That With the hat on, he looks like that guy that hung out with Curious George. Right? <laughs> you read a very different book than I did, Bowers. I think that's the book by Curious George that he was. <laughs> <laughs> this is the hat from Furious George. <laughs> there you go. All right, Rachel, can we get tips coming in? Yeah, so we, let's see. Starting us off, we had Alexander tip two bucks and said, My mom's crazy too. <laughs> Which is why he threw a mattress down the stairs. <laughs> um, Peter Amsel, five Canadian. Erica, edge is good. Fuck them if they can't take a joke. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Cassie Schwartz, five dollars for Erica's new cuddle buddy. <laughs> <laughs> no, need that. Need the support. 
Uh, Jess tipped 20 bucks and said, Erica, I appreciate your sick and twisted way of thinking. I can't believe the guys never noticed that before. You also don't seem old enough to give two shits about Woody Allen. <laughs> I actually think she seems too old to care about Woody Allen. <laughs> she seems too old to have Woody Allen care about her, you mean? That is the, yes, but also the person in question would. Okay, what else do we have, Rachel? That's a great bit. Yeah, good bit. <laughs> Uh, Tam tipped five bucks and said, amazing set. I laughed at it all, I promise. By the way, I'm trying to figure out how to put your tweet saying I'm the best laugher in the world on my resume. Oh, that'll get you far. <laughs> <laughs> we had uh, Tesha Whitman tip five bucks for Erica. Destruction is therapy. Don't let them tell you otherwise. <laughs> Which, oh, you mean like the throwing the mattress down the stairs destruction? Or the ruining my career destruction. <laughs> uh, both, probably. Yeah, both. <laughs> we also had Zara tip you five bucks and said, you're so endearing, it's ridiculous. Things is, attempts are also punishable under criminal law. I'm clearly talking about the mattress. Oh, is she a lawyer? Are you a lawyer? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's not here to fuck spiders, Erica, so you gotta be... I want her in my corner. I love when when Azar drops her 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 gavel, mallet, whatever you call it. Gavel! Mallet. It's called a mallet. 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 But she doesn't want to break it, so she... Here we go again catches it but instead she her hand is often in frame so all you see is this it's just a very like casual it's very not gangster because you just see it dropping into a hand by the way ben, ben i cannot believe you keep calling it a mallet it's called a law hammer <laughs> I, thought, I thought that was your dick's name steve <laughs> oh my god i look after my shit ben what's that i look after my shit <laughs> this is a slam about me breaking a couple vintage ladies lately. That's fair, and I should learn, and I will get better. <laughs> Can we talk about Jessica's antlers for a second? Of course. <laughs> sure. What it, what, is it is is it a celebration of something, or just you're just wearing antlers? No, you well, can see I don't the actual headbands without things glued to them. Oh. And you can I also just see needed that a headband, and this happened to be the closest set to me. Now, now, Jess, cool is that a pic? Is that a picture of you to the left of you? What is that? Is that also? A demon? <laughs> yeah. <Apple? laughs> say the antlers line up. The antlers and the horns line up, Jess. I don't know what's going on there, but. <laughs> well, you guys know I I like weird stuff, so you can imagine. I had to put that up here because it scared the dogs. <laughs> wouldn't stop barking at it. <laughs> By the way, if, if dogs bark at a supernatural pain you have in your house, take that pain out of your house, Jess. I don't know a lot of things about the world. I just moved it closer to me for the day. <laughs> and also, I mean, now that we're, we're, uh, we're glancing at the video front row, I gotta say a new crowning achievement for Frankie Angles Notaro. His worst angle yet, my friends. This is oh. really <laughs> incredible. How did he do it? That's next level. Wow. Really I think it's level. a great angle. He's got tickets on the 50. That's pretty great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One of the six people. <laughs> I don't think 50 yard line tickets are good at all, actually. Because you're not near either end zone. I want to at least be for <laughs> half the game near the touchdowns. They're actually great for Jets fans because, you know. <laughs> oh. Solid point. That's a solid point. As a Bengals fan, I don't even know what we're looking at. <laughs> uh, uh, we, we've never seen the 50. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, did you see the Bengals kicker miss a 31-year-old, 31-yard field goal and then pretend his leg was hurt, but then he switched which leg was hurt halfway through the pretending it was hurt? Oh, my God. <laughs> it's the most Bengal thing of all time. He was like, oh, my hamstring. I mean, it's this one. Oh, shit. <laughs> it was terrible. No, we didn't see that. We did not see that. Of course you didn't. I'm saying, I'm, I'm telling you. It's all about oh. zero. All right, thanks. Uh, that solves it. All right, we had a couple generals come in. Uh, Christopher Mobley, five bucks, Steve for president. 
Nice. Well, I appreciate that, and so does Tam's actual mug. <laughs> no, I think he changed oh. his vote because of the mustache. I think maybe we don't want him on your team. <laughs> Bet can you shave that mustache you got hired by the Trump administration? <laughs> no, that's if I do this. Oh. Oh. Nice. 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 And then Zara, five bucks. Rachel, your pronunciation and makeup are on point today. You is pretty. I is cute. Together we'd be pretty cute. <laughs> I always blush. <laughs> the filter, it's the new filters, new zoom. It's the filters. Yeah, yeah. What it is? Can I do that? Yeah. Um, Where are the new filters? <laughs> she was actually blushing, Erica. Oh, she was. <laughs> Hold on, if I do this, nope. it's if it's I been so. This, it's Erica's blush. She doesn't even know what it looks like anymore. That's so sad. I'm just always blush. <laughs> can't tell now, can you, bitches? Oh, now. <laughs> uh, now you look like you're getting engagement photos done. <laughs> With me. Yeah. Yes. yes. Oh, All right. We are caught up. All right. Well, let's get to this game. Want to get to this game? Excellent. Let's get to this game. I like ones when Rachel has to sing. These are my favorite. Oh, yeah. These are. Wait, just like... just very quickly before we do that, I would like to uh, do a quick impression. I've, you know, I'm trying to do less impressions these days, but I'd like to do a quick impression of what it is. Uh, looks like in Erica's bedroom when she finally invites her little friend over to spend the night. Looks a little bit like this, I think. <laughs> I can see it. Is that an earthquake filter, Ben? It's an industrial strength. It's an industrial strength. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Rachel, please. So the the game today is kids bop a song. So take a song and make it kid friendly some way. Um, audience, live front row, if you guys want to participate, please raise your hand in the virtual um, in the participant window. These are the unpaid entries that I liked. Uh, Greg Murphy's, my milkshake brings all the boys disregard. <laughs> 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 Nice. Oops, I love that one. Um, Did I miss the what? What is the topic? Uh, I... Kids bop a song, so take a song and like make it uh, kid know. friendly for, for kid for Disney radio, essentially. Okay. Uh, Marissa Francis, this is another unpaid. We built this city on Legos. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Clarence Isaacs Jr. Uh, the classic by the police. I'll be helping you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And so, Erica, these are the ones that we're going to be voting on, starting with our front row audience. So let's go to Zara first. Hey, so I got a couple. Uh, 50 Cent in the crib. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, similar, uh, Nelly uh, caught in her. Her? It's her, right? <laughs> her. Ehrlich. Caught in. Caught in okay. her. Awesome. Um, I'm going to read. So Leedy is sketching right now. So I'm going to read Leedy's. She said, my anaconda don't want none unless you have the proper food for the loving care of a pet snake. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's get to Tam. Oh, no, I refuse to play on principle. I hate kid pops. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's boycotting I, the game. I like your principle stand, Tam. I like that. <laughs> um, anyone else? Uh, Frankie, Savannah, Jan, do you guys have any? No. Uh, Jess, Jess, Jess does. Hi. So um, instead of James Brown's get up sex machine, I was thinking about uh, get up eating machine. <laughs> that's all my babies did was eat nice. yep this makes sense um so these are the other ones jeremy day had uh 50 ways to peeve your mo mother <laughs> <laughs> i like that one uh, one of them is throwing a mattress down <laughs> <laughs> or even threatening to 
Yep. 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 Uh, Randy Longmire. The Bay Area Anthem. I.O. for Play-Doh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tesha Whitman. WAP. We are potty training. <laughs> uh, Tesha Whitman. The Snoop Dogg classic. Ginger Ale and Juice. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Nice. Brian Slivka. George Michaels. I want your snacks. <laughs> There we go. Now we're getting into it. Uh, Chris Jacobs, Gillette, short stick man. <laughs> Don't want uh, Peter Amsel, Michael Jackson's hit, Billy Jean is not my brother. <laughs> uh, Tesha Whitman, Nine Inch Nails, closer to nap time. <laughs> I want to feel the blanket from the inside. <laughs> uh amina sala and he says truth hurts i just took a dna test i'm 100 percent ben's kid <laughs> <laughs> who wrote that amina sala amanda salad <laughs> uh we had uh tesha whitman uh johnny cash and nine inch nails hurt i have a boo-boo <laughs> uh, I'm gonna sala. Wop. There's some ho there's some holes in this blouse. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna sala. Anaconda by Nicki Minaj. My mama don't. My mama don't. My mama don't wanna run. Stays home eating cinnabuns. Hena hun. <laughs> 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 Lola for Raz. Hamilton, Nerf guns and Lego ships. <laughs> uh, hot diggity Laura. I know Yo Gotti. I know my ABCs. <laughs> uh, Shannon, Shannon Savage. Michael Jackson's The Way He Made Me Feel. Oh no. Wow. Oh, that's a different way to play this game. <laughs> wow. That's the opposite of Kids Bop. That I mean that's literally Kids Bop. Oh god. Yeah. <laughs> that's Kids Bop. That's different. <laughs> oh my god. We had uh Jake M. Duck in a fleece by knitters with attitude. <laughs> <laughs> god. Uh Amina Sala. High Hopes by Panic at the Disco. I said I have high hopes in Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're caught up. So those are all the game entries. All right. All right. Oh, man. I liked, I liked 50 Ways to Peeve Your Mother. I liked oh, wait. Hold on. One more. Sorry. Okay. Gus Walsh just put one in. Coming straight from the underpants. Hug the police. Hug, hug, hug the police. <laughs> 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 I did like hug the police, but I think I got to go with just took a DNA test and I'm 100% Ben's kid. I think that's the one I'm going with. <laughs> Erica, what was your favorite one? Um, I like the 50 ways to peeve your mother. Perfect. All right. <laughs> Great. Oh, there's a lot of good ones. I liked um, In the Crib. Um, my favorite is... What is it? I'm going to give it to WAP. We are potty training. All right. <laughs> Anybody's ball game, Ben. I am giving it to ladies. Your anaconda don't want unless you take the proper care and precautions to take care of a reptile. That was pretty <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. Steve, it's up to you to pick a winner or make this a seven-way tie or whatever. Yeah, that is crazy. I, I, Ginger ale and juice I was close with. Uh, in the crib, I was close with, but I'm breaking the tie. 100% Ben's kid. Too good. <laughs> I don't even know the reference. Is this somebody about? telling me that I'm their father for real? What's happening here? Remember the FHM woman that was on that was your ex girlfriend that had the child that looked like you, and we joked the whole show that it was your kid? Yeah. Oh, no, he doesn't watch the show. That's what he was I, referencing. I we'll remember send... that, but what was the, what's the song? The song is. Took a DNA test. It's 100%. I'm that bitch. It's that, that's that, uh, what her name? Uh, 
Lizzo. Yeah. Got it, got it, yeah. got it, got it. Yeah. Now I get it. Now I like it a lot. Now I like it a lot. I still vote for the one. Ben, but I'm, you're I'm the father. Color. You're the father. I don't like. I don't agree. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to acknowledge this. Somebody, Erica, help me, Erica. All right. Is that from now? I'm sure you got. You got a kid. Ben, you're the father, and in 20 years they're gonna throw a mattress down the stairs, and you're gonna have to deal with it. <laughs> Well, his kid's like nine, so it's in 11 years. But yeah. Oh, yeah, that's true. It's been a bit. All right. Uh, any of us got some? I got a couple. I got a couple. I don't have any. All right. Ben, ben you got any? I've got a, a good list of them. All right. Uh, let's go shot for shot then. Uh, ben, you want to start? Sure. All right. Help. I need someone to adopt me. <laughs> Nice. Uh, I, I, have, I have a song about chiropractors. It's a uh, flexible healing. <laughs> I've got, so I only have two. My hula hoop brings all the girls to the yard because boys are gross. They've got cooties. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you want to do your other one then as well? Yeah, sure. Um, let's talk about the birds and bees, baby. Salt and pepper. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, isn't that how it goes? <laughs> yes, all of these are how they go, Eric. Okay, so my mom showed me. Yeah. Uh, all right, Ben. Uh, let's go back and forth. You got? Sure. I've got salt and pepper. Push it down the stairs if it's a mattress. <laughs> uh, I've got salt and pepper. Uh, let's not talk about sex. Oh, good. I like that one. Let's not talk about sex, tier 23. <laughs> I've got, I want to hold your hand because I lost my first mom at the beach. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. About, about lost parents mm -hmm. <laughs> or orphan children. I've got uh, the Donna Summer classic, uh, love to hug your baby. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say I've that, got, that mustache. <laughs> I've got slob on my doorknob. What? Oh my god! That actually makes sense. They do get doorknobs very sticky. Kids are they do. That's I do. Oh All so right, I went, I went a little religious with this one. Uh, your God, He is a Wonderland. Uh. <laughs> a lot of very religious babies out there. It's a great entry. Um, <laughs> I've got. My neck, my back, my binky and my blank. <laughs> uh, Savannah got... like that one. Savannah started dancing on that one. <laughs> there were some shoulder moves on that one. I think you do snack instead of blank. Yeah. I should have yeah. snack. My gosh, that would have been so much better. Thank you, Taylor. I'm going to do it again. My neck, my back, my binky and my snack. Oh, there you oh, go. Good. Yeah, there. That's uh, a now we're all that's dancing. Um, I've got to pour some sunblock on me. <laughs> this is the Steve Hofstetter story? What is the game we're playing? Yeah, well, yeah. You thought the religious one was the Steve Hofstetter story? Oh, no, no. That's a good point. I meant that one. Anyway, yeah. and, okay. Uh, just put it in my mouth. That mashy banana. <laughs> By the way, Kids Bob doesn't have to be about all baby things. It's just a clean version of the song. Okay, well, that's one man's opinion. That's one mistake. Right, no man. <laughs> okay, uh, what's your fantasy football team like? You don't, you don't know what children are. Okay. It's, it's <laughs> for kids. The kids don't play fantasy football, Steve. Ben's they don't point play is fantasy good. football. They, they're not gonna it's just a they clean don't... version of the song. No, but no, it's got to no, be about no, stuff no. kids like. No, it's about stuff That kids would be like. played it's for kids. kids. It didn't say clean a song. It's baby bop a song. Kids bop. Yeah, but if the kids have to relate to it, too. Kids don't have fantasy football teams. My God. <laughs> Fine. I apologize got... for breaking the rules of the game. I'm, I'm off the show, guys. That's it. I only say it because you're the game Nazi. That's the only reason why I'm very strict with you. Look, oh, my, powers, mustache, my powers yeah. are in my beard. I've lost a lot of them. <laughs> <laughs> I've got let's run a train set into the ground due to misuse. Oh, All right. Uh, I've got I'll make gloves for you. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah, your grandma sings you that as she's knitting. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> I've got. Like you uh, want me to. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I got another one with the same song. 
Put It In Your Mouth, the song about everything. <laughs> <laughs> Almost everything. Almost everything. <laughs> Almost everything, yes. So <laughs> much. Uh, Except in the Woody my, Allen household. What? Uh, and then my last one, uh, my last one by uh, NWA, uh, NWA, which is uh, Neighbors with Associations, uh, is uh, Fund the Police. Fun or fund? Fun? Fund with a D. Fun. Oh. When I was a kid, I can't tell you how many conversations I had with my fellow yeah. kids about funding the police. About the police. <laughs> Yep. Yeah. Lots of them. Lots of them. Well, you're not a kid in 2020, Ben. <laughs> That's a good point. That's a good point. True. That is True. fair. That is fair. Steve My last model, one. Steve, Steve was on his model UN team in kindergarten, so he's been talking about the issues <laughs> for a long time. <laughs> My last one is Baby Got Back, episodes of Paw Patrol. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I like to end on the weaker ones. No, All right, that's... how about, how about, uh, I want your saxophone? <laughs> that... <laughs> Again, I don't no. think that's particularly a young child <laughs> instrument. Toy saxophones. Kids have toy saxophones. I don't okay. know children. That's, 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 that's very apparent. That's very that's clear. Really... Yeah, very Despite good. the mustache, I do not know anything about kids. <laughs> <laughs> Yet. All right, so... <laughs> Anyway, uh, we finished up. We did it. Uh, it's Leedy time. Leedy, what you got for us? This should be a fun one. All right. Um, this new Zoom thing, Taylor, you're a hero. Uh, All right, here we go. First, I have Jess and her painting. <laughs> uh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Love you, Leedy. Then I have uh, Steve as the man in the yellow hat, but with. <laughs> 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 oh my god. Great. <laughs> um I have well this is such a weird change. Oh god. Uh here is Erica and her vibrator. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so cute. This is a weird change from what? Why was that a weird change? I thought the last one led into it perfectly. Oh. Oh. I, I, oh. I, 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 I Here's the, the lost footage of Cabo. Let's talk about some baseball cards. <laughs> <laughs> and then stand the fuck up. <laughs> um, it's too early for this much cheer. <laughs> How's your pandy? <laughs> As the show started, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> I just finished my, my my bowl of fruit. I feel great now, energized. Uh, I don't think I want to fuck Steve. <laughs> <laughs> you know how terrified I am. I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> that is so good. Uh, I'm a dad. I hope Carmel didn't hear that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, by the way, Ben, you, your your insistence on uh, how much more you know about kids does not bode well for you not having them. Huh. <laughs> well, I, I think what Ben's saying is that him and I had a childhood, and I don't think you did. I yes, think you that's did. the point. <laughs> you, were, you were answering emails before email existed somehow. I don't know if you had a, you had a speak and spell that had emails on it somehow. You guys didn't play fantasy football as kids. You had no childhood at all. <laughs> <laughs> I was born with this mustache. Then, uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> Why didn't you say that earlier? I would have drawn that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Aw, Tam. With the little Glebe 2020. <laughs> <laughs> Betrayal. <laughs> I was cold, damn, I'm cold. <laughs> Running for president is a dish best served cold. Nice work, Lady. Very nice well work. done, as Appreciate always. It. I love it. And yeah. uh, so, great job. Erica, where do we find you out in the world? I'm just at Erica Rhodes on everything. All right. Yeah. 
Awesome. Race. Well, thanks for being here. We appreciate it. We'll see you next time. You kill it as usual. We love you. We'll see you next time. Um, You're always the best. Thank you for being here with us, Erica. Oh, thanks, Ben. You guys are so fun. Real blast. Cool. Uh, as for me, you can find me at Bowers Comedy and our new podcast, Dockheads, dropped today. And I make a special announcement. We have a new co-host, Todd and McComas, and I have added Miss Savannah Martin to our podcast. Savannah what? now is our wow. Dockheads. So Savannah is now our co-host. So check that out. She's Her first episode was this week. So uh, And then, yeah, that's her oh, housewarming cool. gift I sent her, which is a... a combination of me and Leedy. I made the frame stuff, but I didn't make the frame. I bought it at Target, but it doesn't matter. But uh, it's Leedy's <laughs> in a, in a frame. frame. So. <laughs> you would have made the frame, Steve. Fuck you. I'm saying you're <laughs> but Anyway, so so check us out on our our podcast, Dockheads, with me, Todd, and Savannah. Uh, ben. I think this is something that Bowers probably didn't think out in advance. I mean, congratulations to Savannah for joining the podcast, but now that they're co-workers, Bowers has lost his one fan. <laughs> I think the one thing that everyone's going to enjoy is Bowers and I actually give each other shit on that one. So. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. I look forward to uh, to leaving in the comments. Stay away from my man's. I I can't wait. Well, what's, so what's great is we we watched the documentary about the amazing Jonathan on Hulu, and the filmmaker Ben Savannah shits on the whole time, calls him a pussy about eleven hundred times, and then she. She found him on Twitter and like tweeted him and he tweeted her back, of course, and then followed her and then followed her Instagram. He's going to listen to this podcast and listen to her shit on him for an hour. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> can't wait to see what happens. Love that. I'm going to tweet hashtag Team Bowers. <laughs> <laughs> um, I will be at Nowhere Comedy Club doing my next Gleeb Off the Top on Friday, September 25th. It's a wild, weird, improvised time. And uh, Lady Corbin may be there as well. Hopefully, we haven't discussed it. But if she's available, Lady will be there. And she's available. She'll be there. Look at that. Done. So check that out. Tickets at nowherecomedyclub.com. Oh, cool. Steve. Rachel. Uh, oh, Rachel yeah, sorry. so I have the next um, stand up comedy juice show. Uh, the theme is Storytellers. T on Thursday at 6 p.m., you can get tickets at nowherecomedyclub.com. We've got Josh Wolf, Jackie Cashin, <clears throat> Michael Malone, um, Kira Sultanovich. There's a lot of people. Thanks. Very cool. All right. And as for me, um, I do want to say I did grow this mustache uh, to be in the sequel to a movie. It's not what you think. It's actually going to be the sequel to Curious George. It's going to be called uh, uh, <laughs> Too Fast, Too Curious. Um <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's good. Thank that's you. That good. was fun. Uh, no, I uh, I'm just fucking around. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it or not. Um, but yeah, check out check me out at uh, Nowhere Comedy Club. Uh, you could you could check it out uh, Nowhere Comedy Club at the end of the month. But also, um, I can officially uh, make the announcement. Um, I just booked uh, the biggest live show I've ever had. It's not gonna be till next August, but at the Wilbur Theater in Boston, 1,100 seat. <laughs> Oh. Doing about it. I cannot wait to have to cancel that show. It's going to be a nice <laughs> show. Oh. Uh, check it out. Tickets will be available on my website uh, within the next couple of days. Yep. This is, except I'm Steve. Think of me as Steve. Oh, nice. <laughs> I just booked the uh, Staples Center and I just canceled it also, just so you guys know. <laughs> uh, they didn't let you keep your tickets? No, they did not. <laughs> No, I just can't wait to see Ariana Grande, but I guess I'll have to wait a little bit longer. <laughs> and I have, I've had to cancel seven coffee shop and bar shows, so fuck both of you guys. All right. <laughs> Half of that really bothers Bowers. He isn't into coffee that much, but the no, bar no, shows really hurt. Canceling yeah. a bar show hurts my soul a lot. I still went to the bar. We just didn't do the show anymore. All right. Uh, <laughs> I think we did it. Did we did it? Did we do it? Are we caught up? Yes. We did it. We did did it. Did we did it? All right. Audience, we love you yet again. Thank you so much. We will see you tomorrow. Thank you. You guys are awesome. Um, I uh, move into Hollywood. So that's my little bit of news. I just got uh, approved for an apartment in Hollywood. So we're super excited to get out of the valley and go someplace that's, uh, you know, relevant. And uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> So so smart to move into the heart of where all the action is when there is no action and the world is shut down. I love that so much. <laughs> the action will be where I am. All right, we had one general to catch up on. Um, we had Christopher Mobley tip the show five bucks, and he he said something, but then he deleted it. But I saw it before he said it. He just said, "That's one ugly." I don't know what he was referring to, but 
That's one ugly. <laughs> That's one one single. And I don't think it was me. No, it I think <laughs> I think every neurotic comedian's brain right now is 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 fifty percent thinking about what it is about us that's ugly and feeling bad about themselves and also trying to think of jokes about the other comedians to say basically. <laughs> but I'm not going to say them because it's the end of the show and I like to end positive. You know what I mean? Taking note from Jeff Dye. Yeah. Uh, and with that, uh, before I end, uh, here is my Little League baseball. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Little League baseball. Wow. That's okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Is uh, worth about the same as a 1990 Don Mattingly. So uh, <laughs> that's it for me, everybody. Okay, wait, 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 real quick. Wait, wait. I got to show you. This is the probably the most adorable thing you'll ever see since we're showing old. This is Chrissy's picture as a little baby kid when she was a softball player. Isn't that the funny? Oh, I love her. Way to steal my thunder. <laughs> right. Well, yeah. It really is. Oh my God. All right, Ben, what do you got? I've just got something also from a very long time ago. I've got what's known as a floppy disk. And oh uh, this, is, this was modeled. It is true. This was modeled after Steve's penis. Thank you for being with us. <laughs> and we will see what's you again the, next time. What's on the oh desk? God.